Next question, Prabhupada, is how many or different types are there for student colleague? Yeah, basically there are four types of student colleague. Depending upon what you want to study, the student colleagues are different. So you need to apply what you want to study. If you study, want to study medicine, biology, something like a natural course, then you need to apply for M course. If you want to do engineering and technical course, you apply for T course. And if you do, do want to do some economics, business administration, other business courses you do for W course. W is called Wirtschaft, Wirtschaft so, yeah. Yeah. so it's economics in Germany, German, yeah. And the S course, S course is for language. If you want to study language, Spanish, English, German, linguistic, Anglistic, Germanistic, you study this course. But the thing is, you apply first for the university, then the university will decide what you need to study. Right. Yeah. So you apply for the bachelor course after you finish your plus two. Okay, they will say, okay, this is not enough. Please visit a student colleague. This is the place where you need to do a student colleague. And only after doing this M course, T course, S course, or W course, you can apply again for a university. So this was the whole mechanics behind, um, you know, student colleague. Let's get into a little bit more detail now. Student colleague, student colleague. I know this, we've been repeating this word now. I'm a candidate who's just yeah. completed 12th grade. What do I do next? Step by step. Yeah, sure. After you complete your 12th grade, so you need to decide what to do yeah, for your for your life. Yeah. If you want to come to Germany, go straight ahead and learn German. So you said like if you already decided to go abroad and go to Germany before 12th grade, mm -hmm. at 11th grade or 10th grade, right? go straight to German class. I would say it's easier, so you'll save more time. So if you, if you have some free time at school and you find a good language school where you can learn German, Go and learn German if you want to come to Germany and study good uh, in German um, language like engineering or any other courses. Basically, they need B1, B1 level, so it will take some time, kind of about a year. So if right. you're an intensive course, it will okay. take six to eight months. Uh -huh. But normally, if you do like a casual three to four hours a day, then it will take like about a year to complete a B2 level. Normally, it's like more than one year. So okay, uh, okay. Yeah. So I complete my twelfth. And then another one more year to yeah. complete my B. So I would advise B1. to everybody who wants to come, who knows already how to yeah. get to Germany, to learn language before 12th class, like Correct. 12th grade. Correct. Let's move ahead. I did my 12th. What yeah. you said, uh, come do the language. Yeah. I completed my B1 level. What happens next? Now you need to apply for university. Yeah. You don't apply for a student colleague. You go to any university. You search their web page. And they will say, uh, you need the student colleague. Okay, uh, if university, please apply directly. Apply directly to the university with your certificates for the student colleague. If the university says, apply through uni assist, then go through uni assist and apply for the bachelor course you want to pursue. Correct. So, so for the, and the application form, just write the bachelor course. What do you want to study? Like information engineering, uh, computer engineering, what do you want to study? Yeah? Correct, correct. So then by the university would take the uh, application, forward it to university and university, okay, you have done this, but your certificate is missing. So I think you're from India, or Nepal, or any other SAR countries, everybody need to do student colleague. So they will figure it out. You need to do M course. Okay, fine. There's a student colleague available for this course. Go through this course and, uh, and we have a date coming in next, Three months, apply to your embassy with this letter. They will provide you offer letter and then you apply for the visa. So that was the second step, what I believe. Uh, first step was to learn German language. Mm -hmm. Second step was to uh, apply to university directly for bachelors. Yeah. For example, you completed your bachelors last week from Hartway HDW. So you applied directly to Hartway. Now, again, it depends. The, the bachelor's university where you're applying, do they accept applications through uni assist or do they accept applications directly, which you need to figure out by going on their website? Yes. Right. So that part is taken care. Again, let me put you in an example. So a candidate has applied through a uni assist to TU Berlin, for example. Mm -hmm. Now, what's next? After get, you said he gets a letter that letter is supposed to be presented in visa office so yes. that he is granted a visa to come to Germany. For what? This is the third step we were about to talk yeah. about. After getting the offer letter, you just go to the embassy and then provide the documents, what you have uh, for the visa process and they will figure it out. Okay, something is missing, then they will tell you directly what is missing. Uh, so if they want you to do language course, 
just enroll in any language course you can find in any cities or any any place in Germany there are lots of hundred thousands of uh, language institutes in Germany where you can apply so Prabhis, uh, I've covered my first step again I'm just doing a recap quick okay uh, I've done my language school I've done my B1 I immediately applied for uh, actually it, it, this B1 is from DSH or Telk or Goethe either of them this is certified okay um, then I went ahead and applied for university uh, through UniAssist for example okay I applied for electronics and communication engineering in TU Berlin okay as far as I know you cannot come directly to Germany and start learning your bachelor's there are hurdles in between yeah. which you need to clear in my view there are two hurdles one is you have to come to Germany and give off number proof on exam okay which you can talk in detail once I'm done and the second big hurdle is one year of student colleague which is the bridging course which you're doing yeah. so let's can you continue with the third point which is off number proof and give yeah, me more sure. details on that yeah sure So basically it's about German language, like 60% uh, then others like uh, maths, like okay. complete maths. So it's like 11, 12 maths, so yeah, you need to learn a little bit of, yeah, you need to have a little bit of knowledge. If you don't do maths, it's not easy, so you need to have more knowledge of German and more knowledge of maths. And some university also ask you to uh, do some science examination, physics and chemistry too, but there okay. are very few. Okay. But yeah. So um, mainly it's maths, maths and, and German. Maths and German. All right, so that's great. But Prabhis, again, German is not our mother tongue, right? Um, all your life you studied English, but that doesn't mean it makes you an English literature writer, right? Yes, yes. So you studied for one year and you're like, okay, I'm capable to write any exam in the world, especially for German language. We are spe that's just a metaphor. So... Um, what if I fail off number proof on the entrance exam? Yes, yeah, you can fail in any, any exam, so yeah. it's, it's a normal procedure. So if you don't study good or if you don't know much and if you are like scared of giving exams, you may fail. So it's normal, don't lose hope. So after failing exams, it's not a big deal. Like you have two years to pass an off number proofing in Germany and to complete your student colleague. So oh. in this two year span, you need to enter to a, any university in any bachelor course okay so they give you two years German government give you two years okay to get enrolled in any bachelor course oh, yeah? okay so after failing any exams you go to normally to any language institute okay and uh, study language all right and when you when you issue this language it's your certificate to any visa office they'll give you a visa Ah, okay, because for off number proofing it's usually for three months only. Yeah, first they right. apply. The visa is for yeah. only three months. Yeah. So, what you're saying as a solution to that problem, yeah. which has come up like, oh, you failed the off number proofing exam, is go to language school, get yourself enrolled, so that you can better yourself up for second attempt. Yeah. So, when you enroll there, you, they get a letter, right? They give a letter which can be used to extend your visa, yeah. stay in this country. Exactly. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, I do that. Um, I cleared my second attempt now. I've cleared my uh, of number proofing in the second attempt. What happens next? Now you are enrolled to a student colleague. Okay. So now um, basically what you are studying, you need to do a student colleague in M, T, S, or W course. Uh -huh. Yeah. So M is for any biology, medical courses if you want to study. Correct. Bachelor. T is for technical or an engineering course, W is for economics and or any business course and S is for any language course or linguistics. Correct. So you get it through the university. Uh, most uh, every state, like maximum, there are 16 states in Germany and most of them have student colleagues. Okay. So you can apply anywhere, not only in Berlin or not only in Hamburg. You can apply anywhere and they have respective student colleague centers where you study student colleagues and they refer you directly to this place. Yeah. Okay. So you you go through student colleagues that so there are basically five subjects you study. So in your case, it was since you studied electronics and communication engineering, you took T course. Yeah. And do you still remember what kind of exams or the subjects did you study? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yes. 
So basically it's a simple course, uh, like main thing is German, so you study more, many, like more, more, more Germans. And uh, like you study Lese uh, Verstehen, Hörverstehen, yeah? If you study German, you know this. Correct, yeah. And, uh, and grammatic, yeah? So it's a more than 40 hours course okay. like, in a week. So like half of them is German, like, like 20 to 15 to 20 hours is German. And the more, and the next is maths, if you're studying technical course, maths is very important. So for maths, you need to you learn like basically what you learn in plus two, uh, or 11, 12 grade is like calculus. I don't remember much, but no it's problem, you yeah. get the idea. So yeah, so I study student colleague with the subjects, what you're yeah. saying. So not only, but there are physics, electronics. Ah, okay, so there are more subjects, you're and right. Me me mechanics and so on, yes. Right, so fine. I think I completely lost the track of steps number, but so I completed my student colleague. Yeah. Um, what happens next? Now, if you are doing the student colleague in the university and you, you want to you wanna study at the same university, so you just go through the normal process, you find somebody in the university or the, there's a student service center at any university, you go to them and say how you apply and, or you can see at university webpage or website and apply for the course at the same university. But if you want to apply to a different university, after passing student colleague, you can apply to any university in Germany. Okay. So, no matter how. So it's uh, the same process, just like master students go through like, yeah. um, applying through either through uni assist or through directly to university, right? Yes. What he's referring to is the step number two, when you were in India, once learning the language, the step number two was to apply to university already before you even do your student colleague or off number proofing, right? Now, going back to his point, once you have cleared um, a student colleague, you just provide them a letter that I have cleared student colleague and upload that file on their portal, which is UniAssist portal. Yeah, basically you need to send it like, an, um, like what do you say, notered copy, like. Notarized so, copy. Notarized to, copy, yes, to okay. the UniAssist place. Got it, okay. Yeah. So what's next after that? Yeah, so then yeah, you you apply. You don't don't apply for a single university. Apply for more university, multiple university, so that you have more chance. There's the other way also. What I've heard, I've I've already mentioned that in the beginning of the video is, you you somehow complete your 13 years of schooling, right? Um, recently, I've been counseling a lot of students. What I learned from them is, they do their first year of bachelor's. In, in India or wherever they are um, and then they go through the rest of the process. I'm interested to know, I'm sure a lot of people are also interested to know, can you walk us through how is that process like? I just gave basic information, you know. Yes, um, after if you do bachelor in any university or any colleges, the first and foremost thing you need to know is to know if they're recognized by any German institutions. So to know this, you can visit the Anabin website. Just type Anabin at Google, and you can find this. If you're there, are max lot of lot of colleges which are recognized by German institution, the German university. Just study at any of them. So okay. you need to know them first. All right. So so if you if you studied already, and if they're not recognized, then it's bad luck. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. But um, there are many colleges you can enroll into. Right. So, if they're recognized and if you have the minimum B1 level of language, you can apply directly to bachelor, like same process, uh, at any university in Germany. After doing this, you come directly to Germany, but, but you need to have an offer letter, just remember that. You need to have an offer letter from any university. The offer letter might be off. If you apply for a bachelor, they will allow you to study German. The, the university will allow you directly to study German at their respective centers, at their recognized centers. So with this letter, you can apply for visa and come here and learn German. And after learning, you have you have a chance to do DSH course, DSH examination. Which this is, is like a certification. Yeah, it's a German language certification. Like it's like basically like TOEFL or IELTS. Correct. Yeah. So if thing. your bachelor's is in German language, then you have to give DSH or Goethe or Telk. Yes. Right. Otherwise, if you're looking out for English bachelors, then you have to give IELTS and TOEFL. Yeah, exactly. In the process while you're applying for bachelor systems here. Exactly. Okay. So that's the second way. 
before I proceed from here on, see a lot of people will, will have different kind of experiences. So what he has gone through or what he has seen, it is very subjective advice, which we are sharing from here. Yes. All right. Uh, probably there will be someone on the other side will say, I think I don't think so that that way, but we can go to this way also. Suggestions are always welcome in the comment section. Um, other people can also refer that. Okay.